<laughs> everybody, can you believe? I know the Dow is getting ready to close at record levels. Okay, wait a minute. Yes, capitalism is big and alive. The market's doing well. well hmm, did you take a look and see why the market's doing so well? It's just, oh yes, the market goes up when it's thinly traded. Oh, well, who knows? Maybe Oz the Great and Powerful had something to do with the market. Oh, wait a minute. There's a big O, oh, like is in Obama. Do you think he had anything to do with it? Oh, yes. Yes, we're ready for Oz the Great and Powerful. Coming out, of course, by Disney in just a few days. Meanwhile, we're going to bring Old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, I mean, they're talking right now about how the stock market has shown that there's plenty of room for uh, revenue enhancement because since the president became president, the market has done nothing but go on you know, just heading for the city. They're looking for 15,000 points, but as they're pointing out the fact, the institutional buyer, the little guy, is not investing in Wall Street. They're not investing in bonds. They're not simply investing, period. The money, okay, Wall Street goes up when there is little volume and goes down when there's a lot. Lot means that the people that have stock are selling. Ew. So that, that, that so-called thing that the president is taking credit for doesn't really exist because they also pointed out that he actually controls a lot of the businesses that are doing the investing. I'm looking at the thing on the screen. One company after another that he's associated with is having record sales mm -hmm. of stock, not business-wise. And Obama is not bluffing over a Iran military threat, Biden tells APEC. Yeah, yeah, everybody knows he's bluffing. He put, he put in a guy... And, and, and as a Secretary of Defense that thinks it's perfectly all right for them to have a nuclear weapon and be able to defend themselves from the Zions. So you think that Obama is intending to do anything? If Iran could basic, okay, they, they uh, fully believe the Obama administration will leak the time and place of when Israel is going to attack the nuclear facilities. Mm -hmm. That's why they're, they're no longer dealing with our military because they don't trust the president. And Democratic Senator blast GOP proposals to raise Medicare age. They're going to have to. For here's the problem is, if you're now working until you're in your 70s and you're not retiring, uh, you basically you're having you you have policies on the jobs you're working with, so you no longer need it. But the problem, quick, like you can't like you can't, can't get it through people's heads. Well, they're not going to raise my retirement age. Mm -hmm. They're not going to raise not a spring Chick's retirement age. They're not even going to raise Monty's retirement age because they're not going to do it for the people that are under the uh, under a certain age. Like you're looking at a quarter of a century before anyone would be affected by the retirement age. A quarter of a century. Mm -hmm. But the press is trying to make it look. Well, they're going to do. They're going to force you to work till seventy two. Yeah, in twenty five years, mm -hmm. that seventy two year old person is in his. 40s. And two Everest climbs put Nepalese woman in record book. Yeah, well, because it's not like you think. They've claimed it more than one time. Oh, they have? They've done it more than once. That's how they, the record books are because, I mean, women climbing, the, women climbing that happen all the time. But they've, these, are, these are guides and they've went up the hill multiple times. Oh, and rapper Little Poopy has been disowned. Well, yeah. Oh, because... Uh, it, what happened is, is he's not, he, he said that his father did not force him to do the rap stuff. This is, okay folks, this is Bill O'Reilly. Bill O'Reilly, we need to have a welfare investigation, social services. Um, anybody, okay, anybody know my history? Mm -hmm. When I was like uh, a few months old, I was in movies. I was being tossed out of a, I, I was being tossed out of a buckboard. Uh, and, oh my God, can you imagine Bill O'Reilly, if he'd have been alive then, we have to have that kid's father in a jail cell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's the way it works. My family was, you know, like the Great Depression, we were making money. And 50 wounded in Egypt, Port City, as police battle protesters. Yeah, oh, and they, they say, well, it's good that Barack Obama has basically given the Egyptian government the money they need to crack down on the people that believe in democracy in a Muslim country. <laughs> He's given them $495 million to fix their country, which means busting the heads of anybody that stands up to the Muslims. Iditarod Ranarat seeks to become the first woman champ in 23 years. I know. It's just, it just hasn't got to do with men or women. It's got to do with dogs. Hmm. And um, if the, it's, uh, the, the, you know, men have a tendency 
to basically have better tra better sets of dogs because they've been at this a long time and they tend to be more males involved in the Iditarod so therefore you expect that there'll be more men but every now and then they have daughters mm -hmm. that inherit good dogs. So you, yeah they do have daughters sometimes huh? Yeah. That inherit good dogs. Yeah, at least you know. That's right. <laughs> so you think you can dance stars Stephen Twitch Boss and Allison Holker share proposal details? Oh, I think it's to be ridiculous. So, I mean, that's just, I mean, okay, dying shows do almost anything they can do in order to get your attention. So they have a couple of the people that are on the show that are now getting engaged and dancing against one another. Ooh. Ooh, I mean, this conflict, could it damage their marriage? Ooh. Well, they're probably doing the engagement in order that they could simply, you know, that, that, okay, you'll find out that most Hollywood engagements announced on television are not truthful. <laughs> Which is why we never believe any of them. Right. <laughs> and Paul Ryan can't accept that he lost the election. That's the Democrats. The reason why they said the wrong man, they all admit the wrong man was at the head of the ticket. If Ryan had been at the head, they would have been Obama. Mm -hmm. But the fact is that Romney, okay, Romney is now coming out as hiding because Romney is now saying that virtually everyone in the whole bloody nation, including the Democrats that voted against him, admit that we would not have this problem with the government if Romney was president because Romney would have been able to deal, unlike Obama said, right now Obama is in a panic. He actually thought that he could convince 47 people that are up for recall to vote with me and raise taxes. I mean, come and, on. I mean, where is the brains of, I mean, okay, what happened is, is by now everybody knows that, that Michelle Obama is running for president so the Obamas can keep the president. They don't have to worry about the fact that um, the law currently forbids him to, to be president for one, two terms if they have her as president for two terms. So his entire his entire committee that knows what they're doing are now over getting her on everything in the world to boost her over Hillary Clinton. And he basically, all he would have had to say, they're going to get their asses kicked out of office if they give you another tax raise. They aren't going to do it. And uh, But nobody told him that. He just said, well, they're going to have to meet my demands because the press is going to be mean to them mm -hmm. and the people are going to rise up against them. Well, yeah, they rose up against them. The ones that voted them in office rose up against and say, we're throwing your ass out. Part of them are still going to go. Boynard is on the recall list also. Mm -hmm. He's basically fighting for his life as a senator, as a congressman. He is. Because they want to throw him out for because this guy, every time he turns around, he basically gives the president what he wants anymore. Until last time when he said... He didn't draw a line in the sand. They, they, they gave Obama his tax increase. They gave it to him. They, one of the people on the Democrats said that um, Obama took the wrong tax increase. He should have taken the increase that basically included all their tax loopholes. Now he doesn't have that to play with, and the Republicans are going to close the loopholes all right. And the Democrats are going to vote, vote against them, which they wouldn't have done if Obama would have got closed the loopholes, which were bigger than the tax increase he got. And subcontractor, subcontractor in deadly Casey Blast lacked a permit. Yeah, most people do. I mean, I know people, okay, the, we know people in this area that have basically worked on homes with no pro, no permits, they can't sell them. We know a person that lives, his, his place is right down the street from my home, and that he put, he basically supposedly was going to do a reconstruction, he left, you know, uh, but what he did was he built a shell around his home, took the home out that was inside and added a second and a third story to it, and they can't occupy the two top stories. Oh, it's just craziness. And the bottom story is cracking under the weight of the top two stories because the people that did it didn't know what they were doing. See, that's a bad part if you get somebody that doesn't know what they're doing. And they didn't know. I mean, we're down the street. How many times do we see the roof changed on one house down the street? I know. They took that thing and they put the rafters, the beams in, five or six different times in different directions before they actually can read a blueprint. And warrant issued, I know, yeah. warrant issued for Vegas Strip shooting suspect. I mean, I, get, I would have thought, okay, what it means is that they can't get him out of the state of California because um, there's, no, there's, no, uh, there's no one to identify he did it. They're wanting to bring a person back on an assumption that somebody will turn against him. Oh, really? Yeah, that ain't going to happen, so he's going to sit in the jail cell here for God 
knows how long, so... And a Monty bubble isn't for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Uh, okay, uh, here's the thing is, just because somebody tells you it's one way doesn't mean it's actually that way. Hence, our review of the, the great and powerful Oz. Oz the great and powerful, yep, so. See, how's that? Yeah.